Age of Wonders 4 is a broken game. And we found six exploits to break it beyond repair. Including on how to make unlimited golden mana per turn, max out your pantheon in 90 minutes, delete your enemy's army before the fight starts, roast AI with spiders, healing by doing damage, and confusing the AI by spawning grass. I made 4k gold and mana in a single turn and this is how I exploited it. By utilizing the Empire, Perk, Stolen Power, and Knowledge Extraction. In the Shadow Tree, a game-breaking amount of mana, knowledge, and gold can be obtained by attacking the same free city over and over again. In detail, this is done by declaring war on a city-state, sieging it, and releasing it as a free city after victory only to repeat the process over and over again. A small and new free city will always spawn with a small army led by a hero. This means you will also get remains of the heroes each time you complete the cycle, in addition to mana and knowledge you get from stolen power. Hero remains can be sold for gold, and additional artifacts can be gained through that, which can additionally be sold for gold. Under normal circumstances, each cycle can only be done at most once per turn per city-state due to the number of turns it takes to convert breach cities into vassals. However, by additionally taking Benevolent Conqueror's Empire perk from the Order Tree, the amount of turns it requires to turn a small city into a vassal state becomes zero. This means you can repeat the cycle as many times as you want in a single turn, assuming you have enough movement points and time. Next, let's talk about how we can get max Pantheon levels in just about 90 minutes. We can get one level per game victory, and this is how you can win in just one and a half minutes. When you become a vassal, it technically counts as an alliance. If your liege wins the game with you as a vassal, you will obtain a military victory as well. As each victory gains 500 Pantheon experience, you can exploit this for Pantheon experience gain by setting up a 1v1 game with an AI. After you found the AI, you can immediately declare war and surrender yourself as a vassal. Most AI will accept with no requirements. By doing so, your AI will win a military victory. Since you are the vassal, you will win the military victory as well as immediately gain 500 Pantheon experience. You can't keep getting away with this! This whole process can be repeated in 2-5 to five turns with a close distance setup. With the whole cycle taking approximately 1-2 to two minutes every 500 experience. You might roast AI in combat every day, but what about roasting them before they get into combat? By using this exploit, you can drop an enemy's health below 50% health before the fight even starts. Overworld spells can be channeled, but they don't necessarily have to be casted on the turn they are completed. By having a large inventory of overworld army damaging spells, you can store up a mass amount of spells ready to be casted when needed this strategy can be utilized during war to burst down enemy armies in the overworld with no repercussions, potentially defeating the enemy without having to fight a single battle. One of the last broken mechanics lets us heal 20 to 40 health while doing AoE damage. This is done by exploiting the synergy between AoE damage and life stealing buffs. Life stealing can be obtained from Mana Addict or Whiteborn Transformation. While the description implies that single hit physical or magical attacks will only heal you for 10 temporary health, the reality is that it heals you 10 health for every unit that was hit. The most common unit type with multi-targeting damage abilities is Battle Mage. Through this synergy, the Battle Mages can easily heal half of their health in a turn while dealing AoE damage. This mechanic synergizes even better with melee units that have AoE damaging abilities, such as Mystic Spell Shields. This makes them unbreakable front lines as they are often surrounded, giving them the ability to heal a massive amount of health while dealing damage and applying debuffs. 
Want your scouts to become stronger? Look no further. Spider mounts are some of the most overpowered mounts in the game due to the web ability. By choosing the spider mount racial traits, all of your scouts will start with the spider mount. This provides them with an extremely powerful AoE anti-melee skill that immobilizes the enemy for one turn. While the skill has a cooldown, the shortcoming can be overcome by having a large amount of spider mount units that takes turns in firing webs. This opens the possibility of disabling the enemy melee units for the entire battle while dealing AoE damage, allowing you to beat even the most impossible fights against melee enemies using only tier 1 scouts. Living Vines Might be good at grabbing people, but they are good at more than just that. You can easily get a bunch of them through a Vine Prison spell, with each of them having a small health bar. This confuses the AI. They will treat the vines as enemy units with equal priorities. While the vines tend to die from one hit, a large quantity of vines ensnares and distracts AI opponents. This causes them to waste valuable turns to debuff or attack each vine. Vines can also be summoned behind the enemy's front line, causing AI units to expose their flanks when attacking the vines. Until the AI priorities for vines are fixed, vines serve as cheap and overpowered shields while your ranged units rain free damage on your enemies. While there are many builds in Age of Wonders 4 that are overpowered, there are several game-breaking exploits or mechanics that take it to the next level. With Vassal Farming granting you unlimited amount of gold, knowledge, and mana per turn, and Pantheon Experience setups enabling you to speedrun all Pantheon perks in a single hour, it makes you question why are you still playing this game? There are also a few less broken mechanics, but are broken nonetheless. While loopholes such as overworld spell charging, AoE life stealing, spider mounts, and vines are less game breaking, they should be nerfed to encourage fair gameplay. Hopefully, all these exploits and broken mechanics will be patched out in the near future. My name is Eremusha. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one.